but you guys. So I've been on this diet since Monday and I have lost five pounds, like five pounds. Like that's crazy. is going to be about my first gestational diabetes appointment which was Monday so it is really late at night actually it's not too late um, it's 9 40 Taylor's asleep I haven't filmed a video in a while I just haven't had time when she's awake she's sitting on my lap she's like super clingy to me and then when she naps I need to like shower or do dishes or do laundry so I have not been able to film I'm in my restroom right now. She sleeps with us in our bed in the room right next door. So I wanted to film a video because I have not filmed in a long time and I want to and I've been wanting to. I just haven't had So we went to my first appointment Monday, like I said, which was the, I'm not even sure the date, seven, five days ago. My appointment was for 1.30 and they let me know that it was going to take two to two and a half hours. I cannot take the kids with me because there's no way that they would be okay for that long. So luckily I asked my mom to come over to watch them. She she took off work early, Taylor and Casey, and then she went and grabbed Carol from the bus. So mom, if you're watching this, thank you. Albert met me at the appointment and then we got there. They like had us register at the hospital and then even gave me like a hospital band. So we were freaking out. We were like, oh my God, what's going on? Um, I thought it was just like a normal appointment, so I was like, what are they going to do to me? And he's he's freaking out too. He's like, why do you have that on? Go back to the waiting room after I register, and then um, they call me to the back. They take my weight, take like all my vitals. She pricks my finger to check my blood sugar, and I had, hadn't eaten in like two hours, so I was fine, or like three hours, so I was fine. Um, it, I don't remember the number, but it was like... 92 or something so it wasn't too high and then she made me use the restroom i didn't have to like give a sample she just wanted me to do my bladder because i was getting an ultrasound so i went to the restroom i came back and i waited for the ultrasound tech and i didn't know what to expect so she's like we're pretty much gonna do an anatomy scan um not to necessarily check like what it was but to like look at all the baby's body parts i don't know i didn't expect it to be that long but it was so long, like a 45 minute ultrasound, which is pretty cool. But being like this far pregnant, laying down to get an ultrasound for that long, I almost passed out like 10 times. I kept having to ask her if I could sit up because I literally felt like I was gonna faint. I was a little bit embarrassed because I literally was like, okay, I need to sit up. So I'd sit up and she'd like run the wand on me and do what she needed to do. And then I was like, okay, I'm okay. And I'd lay back down. And like a few minutes later, I'm like, okay, I need to sit back up again. And she's like, that's fine, you know, like just don't pass out. Like we've had ladies pass out. Um, sorry, my hair is crazy. All this like postpartum hair loss, all this little hair drives me bonkers. Um, anyways, so that went on for about 45 minutes. Everything looked fine. The baby was weighing four pounds, four ounces, what she said. So she said she's not too big yet which is good, but it was like the longest ultrasound of my life, which I'm sure anybody would be willing to go through, but I was sweating. I like, my like ears would go muffled. I was getting dizzy. Like I almost passed out like 10 times. She was saying that it's normal and it's just because like the way that the baby's positioned and like me laying on my back is just cutting off air supply. So, so that was long, it took forever. And then we had a nurse come in who talked to me about the, my like diet. It, which is pretty much, if you don't know what that is, it's just low carb. For breakfast, I can have 30 grams of carbs, and then I can have a 15 gram carb snack. Well, obviously, like, I don't just eat just the carbs. I have to, like, add it with protein. 30 to 45 for lunch, which I usually stick to around 30, is what she said I should do. Another 15 gram carb, grams of carb for a snack. For dinner, 30 to 45. So it's like a total of 175 grams a day of carbs, which is not that little, but you guys. So I've been on this diet since Monday and I have lost five pounds, like five pounds. Like that's crazy. Considering I've been like gaining steadily, I had gained um, 24 pounds, 24. Now I'm at 19, which is insane which is really good. Tuesday, the day after, was really hard. I felt like 
so tired because I wasn't eating as much like sugar and carbs as I had been. So my bot, like that's what your energy, like your body is its energy from. So I just felt like tired, like a tired slug. But now I'm like in a good place. I have energy. I'm not like craving carbs and sugar and snacks and anything like that, which is crazy. Um, and also like after I had Ariel, before I got pregnant with Taylor, like when I lost weight, I got almost done with my pre-pregnancy weight, um, which was the closest I've ever been after having any kids. I went on a low carb diet myself, um, probably lower than this diet. I tried to like restrict carbs com like almost completely and just have protein, but I have like carbs here and there. Um, but very, very minimal, probably half than 175 if even that, and I lost the weight. So I think my body just does good on low carbs. So I think I'm gonna stick to this after I have the baby. I've just been upping my protein and drinking a lot of water, which I usually do anyways. Um, but just limiting the carbs because I'm pretty sure before like this diet, I was eating probably like 300 grams of carbs, like no lie. Like one cookie, like one Oreo cookie is like, like 26 grams of carbs or something ridiculous. I ate like five. That's like already 100. We had Chick-fil-A the other day, I had uh, grilled nuggets. Those are only six grams of carbs, which is insane for a 12 count. And then I'm like obsessed with their diet lemonade, so I had one of those and that's nine carbs, so that's only 15 carbs, and that was my dinner. But usually at Chick-fil-A, we were looking at what I usually would get, and I'd get the spicy chicken sandwich combo. And in the fries, there's like 63 grams of carbs, and in the sandwich, there's like 45. So I was like, holy crap, I was eating 110 grams of carbs, plus a diet lemonade, so like 120 in one meal. And I was wondering why I wasn't losing weight. Well, that's why. I definitely recommend anybody to look into like a low carb um, diet. It's hard at first, but I, I'm good. Like right now, I don't crave anything. I don't need anything. I'm not like, obsessing like over oh my god I can't wait till I'm not diabetic so I can eat all of this stuff I feel like this is gonna help me for after I have this baby and even if I could lose five more pounds in the next eight weeks at least I'm not gaining so I don't even know like where I was at but I had the meeting she told me like what I could have like how many and how to use the poker um the blood sugar checker, I forgot what it's called, um, which I do have. And I'll show that in another video, probably like a vlog or something of me checking my blood sugar. She gave me everything that came with it. The needles and then the alcohol pads and um, the machine and like the strips that you check your blood with, everything. So she showed me how to use that. And then I just spoke with the doctor and she said that I shouldn't need insulin if I'm able to control my diabetes with a diet. Um, oh, I also have a piece of paper that I have to like write all my numbers right when I wake up, an hour or two hours after lunch, breakfast, and dinner, and then um, that's it. And if I go over, I have to like write what I had the meal before, like that made me go over my numbers, but I have not gotten over, so I haven't had to do that. So for five days, I've been doing really good and obviously like it shows because in five days I've lost five pounds and it's crazy. I know I probably won't lose five more pounds in the next five days, but if I can lose five more pounds in the next eight weeks, that would be awesome. If you do have gestational diabetes, you are more likely to have like diabetes as you get older. So I definitely have to like control my eating just for that fact alone. And then what else? That's pretty much it. She asked me if I had any questions. I said no. The appointment was literally like two and a half hours. That's it. That was my first appointment. It's not scary. Don't freak out. It's manageable. You'll be okay. I'm I'm not like an expert. Obviously, I've only been doing this for a week, but I'm getting the hang of it. And I'm and I I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be fine. And I'm excited for this next eight weeks. Hopefully she doesn't take eight weeks to get here, but you know. I'm excited and I'm not as scared as I was when I first found out about it um, because I know more now so and I know that I can like I have the power to manage this so yeah thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video